This video introduces orthogonal vectors. Two vectors, v and w, are said to be orthogonal if their dot product is equal to zero. Please pause the video for a moment and see which of these two pairs of vectors are orthogonal. For the first pair, if we take a dot b, that's 3 times negative 4 plus 4 times 3, that works out to negative 12 plus 12, which is 0, so yes, they are orthogonal. For the second pair, take c dot d, that's 1 times 2 plus 2 times 1, which works out to 4, which is not 0, so no, these are not orthogonal. The word orthogonal means perpendicular. And in fact, it's true that v dot w equals zero if and only if v is perpendicular or at right angles to w. And if we draw these two pairs of vectors, we can see, in fact, that the first pair is at right angles from each other and the second pair is not. Let's run through a couple more definitions. An orthogonal set of vectors is a collection of vectors such that for any pair of vectors, v and w in the collection, v is orthogonal to w, i.e. the dot product of v and w is zero. An orthonormal set of vectors is a collection of orthogonal vectors that are also each unit vectors. In other words, for any vector in the set, any vector v, the length of v is 1, and for any pair of vectors, v and w, v dot w is equal to 0. So let's show that this set of vectors, it's just a set of three vectors, a, b, and c, let's show that it's an orthogonal set. So for any pair, there, there are three possible pairs. There's A and B, there's B and C, and there's A and C. So let's compute each of these dot products. For the first pair, A and B, their dot product is definitely zero. For the next pair, B and C, I'm getting 33 plus 2 is 35, minus 35, yep, that's zero. And finally, for the third pair, A and C, Yep, here I'm also getting a zero. So for any pair of vectors in the set, that pair is orthogonal to each other, and therefore we have an orthogonal set. Is it, however, an orthonormal set? Well, no, because, for example, the length of A is equal to the square root of 18, the length of B is the square root of 171, and the length of C is the square root of 38. So this set doesn't have any unit vectors, and it needs all of its vectors to be unit vectors as well as orthogonal to each other to be an orthonormal set. But I can make it an orthonormal set by taking a and dividing it by its length or multiplying it by one over its length. And same thing with b and same thing with c. Those vectors, which I'll write out here, those vectors will each be a unit vector, and they'll still be orthogonal to each other. Because since they were perpendicular to each other before we rescaled them, they'll still be perpendicular. They'll still be at right angles to each other after we rescale them by altering their lengths. Another way of seeing the same idea is that since a dot b was 0, when we take a over its length, dotted with b over its length, that's the same thing as 1 over the length of a times 1 over the length of b times a dot b. And since a dot b was 0, multiplying it by a couple of scalars still gets us up to 0. So these two vectors, once rescaled, are still orthogonal. In this video, we defined orthogonal vectors, vectors who are perpendicular to each other, whose dot product is 0. We also defined orthogonal sets and orthonormal sets of vectors.